it's time for us to do automatics and as usual i have uh, yomi boshide right here with me how are you doing today i'm very well and you uh, very well thank you Excellent. so i'm super excited about what we'll be talking about today because it's something that we tend to uh, take for granted yes uh, there are things that are so ingrained in our beliefs especially when it comes to owning cars and vehicles and all mm -hmm. that it seems like nothing else can be possibly correct. So we're going to take a look at some of the myths. We're talking about uh, uh, myth when it comes to driving and owning cars, the things you have to know about your cars, but generally the myths. So yes. let's start. Which is going to be the first? First one I'd like to share is with the AC, the air conditioner in your car. Mm -hmm. You know, there's this popular myth that when you turn on your car AC to for instance, speed four on the AC knob. Of course, that's cause that that will definitely consume more fuel because no. of no. Ah, come on. It has, <laughs> has nothing to do with yeah, it. Right. Once you turn on your AC, fuel consumption is the same either at speed one or speed two or speed three or four. So stop it. Of number, trust me, the fuel consumption is the same. Because <laughs> okay. I, I I have a friend that doesn't turn his AC past one. Because it says at speed two, three, or four, it consumes more fuel. I'm like, no. So what does it use? It doesn't just the fan. It's just the blower speed. There's a blower in the car <gasps> that gets faster at the higher speed that you put it at the higher number. Ah, That's all. ignorance is it? Is it all the things we've lost by not using it at the yeah. right speed? Absolutely nothing. It has absolutely nothing to do with it. Okay, tell me another one. Okay, there's another one I hear that. Um, if you drive an SUV yeah. uh, or a bigger car, uh -huh. you are safer in an auto crash than someone driving a smaller car. Expectedly, since your car is supposed to be stronger or at no. least able to take the impact no. better. No, no, ab absolutely so not. So you're at risk? You're still at risk. What's it's, the point of buying a big car It's about the safety then? features, no, that comes oh, with the vehicle. Oh, so that's what counts. Yes, that's what really counts, not the size of the vehicle. Trust ah. me, it's not about the size, it's about the safety features that comes with the vehicle. So some cars, for instance, a smaller car is sedan, might carry, um, say, 12 airbags. While a bigger car, an SUV, might carry just six airbags. Look at that. So w w the passengers are even more at risk of uh, injuries Do you and understand? all? Oh. Of course, there's also another popular myth that um, they go, if you drive an SUV, you can run into rough roads and do anything. Yes, of course. Wrong. It's about your suspension system. Ha! <laughs> so, because I see that I feel like I... <laughs> <you know. laughs> we need to... And the, in fact, we, we need to work on a lot of things, especially now thinking when it comes to vehicles. Yes. Tell me another one. Another one I see people do is when they're buying fuel, they don't um, turn off their engine. They think it's okay. No, that's not even a safe practice now. That one even comes yes, from safety. Yes, yes, yes. You should You're turn off the to, engine. Yeah. And what happens if no, you don't even? You can start off a fire. You, things can easily yeah, go wrong. But true. the bigger myth there is when they're buying fuel and the nozzle from the fuel station clicks and stops, it say continue. It's going into the reserve. There's nothing like reserve at that point. If you don't have, yes, there's nothing like reserve. Once your tank is full, it's full. There's nothing like reserve. No, once you're, especially now, once the nozzle stops, you stop. Because if you continue, you're going to let fuel get into the charcoal canister, which shouldn't have fuel in it, but gas. Wow. Yes. So put the extra, it's now start to fill till it starts to spill out. Wrong, you're going to damage your car. So that's unnecessary. You know, especially when we're having uh, periods of um, fuel, scarcity. fuel scarcity, people tend to feel it. Like, nah. it, I, I've seen somebody fill the car to the point where the, the, the the fuel was actually pouring out. You're going so to that's mess your going paint to mess job up. up. That's what you are just going to mess. It doesn't go into any reserve. There's wow. nothing unless you have two tanks. Some vehicles, some uh, older yeah. model, you yeah. know, SUVs have two tanks. So you have one on the left and same point, but there are different entrants for the two tanks. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. So okay. if that's not the case, forget, then forget it. it. Once as it soon stops, as it's full, it's full. It's full. Oh wow. Okay, so is there any other myth you want to share with us? Yes. Um, the other myth I also found out is that when you're driving in the rain, once you, like any car can go through water. Yeah. No, not every. What, cars are not submarines. Yes. Wow. So once you <laughs> see water ahead of you, yeah. take it slow. Try and understand because you might have a ditch on that pole. Uh -huh. That can easily damage your car, yes. So not every... Yeah, you know, normally when you're even driving through rain, you're supposed mm. to drive carefully, like slowly. Yes. 
So that's why many people believe any car can go through rain. And then there's also the fact that some smaller cars we believe can't because water, of course, it, when you yes. when the car is submerged in water, it means that more water uh, makes its way into the car. In such an instance, well, I guess you do have a point. <laughs> there's so many <laughs> things we take for granted when mm -hmm. it comes to vehicles, really. There's so many things. So many. In fact, there's another one that people don't realize too. Okay. The amount of luggage you have in your car actually increases your fuel consumption. For so those people that have their home, their car as a semi-home, you have more fuel consumption that pe than people that don't keep so much in their car. Ah. So make it a habit to clear your trunk, your boots, from the unnecessary But does stuff. that affect you carrying people in your car? Um, Honestly? Well, Yes, if you have more people in your car, you'll consume more fuel than someone that is a lone rider or just two passengers. Yes, of course, it's weight. Yeah, because I've, I've actually had some people complain that, you know what, I don't want to carry passengers in my car. I don't want people in my car because it will definitely consume more fuel. And the logic has always been, but it's the same car now. How can you consume more fuel? It's not mm. going to take you to your destination. Apparently, that's true. They're just a little. I mean, that person should be nice. Just a, no, a, a those little people, Those people cannot be nice. There are some people that they, they can't be nice. <laughs> so, what you would recommend? that you don't carry okay like this now mm. you shouldn't carry more than five people including the driver yes five people including the driver also check your boot for what you don't need the necessary all mm. that luggage some people stuck newspapers in their boots i mean keep it in that in the store somewhere so these are little things that consume yes, fuel they do have a toll on your fuel consumption because the vehicle is heavier yes True. That's weight. So the yeah, the car is more or less dragging it along. On like when they're they're just one it's or lighter, two. Lighter, yeah. Your spare tire, your wheels, your basic tools. You know, not your not half of your house in the car. And you drive around constantly. You know, I know a few people like that. Yes. Yeah, I think I think I need to have a word with them, or at least share the YouTube link to this conversation mm -hmm. with them, so you they should. can actually take a look at it. It's, 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 it's insane. So many things we take for granted, especially for car owners. Absolutely. Okay.